NASA is planning to go back to the moon in five years with the hopes of using that as a jumping off point to go to Mars and beyond. But before we went to the moon 50 years ago, we sent robots there and NASA is getting ready to do the same thing for Mars. News 6 space expert Eric Von Anken got a first-hand look at the Mars 2020 rover all the way over in Pasadena, California. Eric. Matt, I know you have seen the movie The Martian. For those who haven't, I got to tell you, it seems pretty realistic, growing your own food on the surface of Mars and generating your own oxygen. But would it really work? How do you know for sure? There is only one way, at least that's what the engineers are saying, go there before we actually go there. We are going. We're going. We are going. NASA's upbeat we Artemis promo video going. lays out the plan to get back to the moon and one day Mars. We're currently developing an entirely new approach to landing and operating on the moon. But there's one key critical component it doesn't cover, something that has to happen first before anyone can set foot on Mars. Something has to make sure that someone can land and live here on Mars. NASA's Curiosity rover was lowered down on the surface of Mars in 2012 and ever since has explored the surface. NASA's next rover, similar to Curiosity but longer and heavier, will look below the surface. And this one is uh, going to search for the signs of early life on Mars. This is where NASA is building the Mars 2020 rover. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, in Pasadena, California, the same spot where NASA built almost all of its other rovers and orbiters that told us what we know about the other planets in our solar system. Someone had to go there first um, in order to prove that really the moon wasn't a giant dust ball or cotton candy or something you just sink into. JPL has been such an important part of NASA's space exploration that it has its own historian, Eric Conway. He says the ranger and surveyor lunar landers helped get us to the moon 50 years ago. The surveyor soft landers were important for figuring out whether the surface was strong enough to support a lander. Quick note, they're taking the wheels off, or they're uncovering the wheels, so. Our new six cameras were here last month as the rover team revealed the brand new wheels, stronger and tougher so they won't fall apart like curiosities. And you don't get to call AAA to come fix your flat. This rover will have a helicopter to explore the air, a machine to sample it and pull the oxygen out of the carbon dioxide, a drill to cut into the rock, and containers to store the samples. Also a microphone to hear what Mars sounds like and 23 HD cameras. And it's by combining the chemistry plus the textures we see in images that really helps us make a case that what we're looking at on the surface may be evidence for past life on Mars. Katie Stack Morgan is now the deputy project scientist on the 2020 rover after working on the previous rover. And right after Curiosity left Earth is when work started on this rover. So it's been almost a decade in the making, she says. Of course, behind this are 300 scientists and thousands of engineers. The team designed and built all of the rover hardware you see here and the software to get it to Mars and operate it. And then they tested every bit of it to make sure it will work after the seven month journey. As each piece is put together inside this cavernous assembly facility, it is shipped off or more specifically, trucked off to the Kennedy Space Center. This frame you see here, very specially designed, is going to carry the shell, the cover of the spacecraft, first to Denver, and then eventually to the Space Coast. NASA is targeting a launch next July. That's why they call it the 2020 rover, but only if everything is perfect. A minor miscalculation can result in a $2 billion loss. Not to mention the loss of all those hours that went into it. Now, it's not just the rover that's coming here to the Space Center. It's also much of the support team. They were here for the last launch of the last rover, so they're going to be here for the next launch when it goes up in July. But the other thing they have to do is really 
control it once it gets to Mars. Uh, a lot of it is programmed, but that's really when the work begins. Once it touches down, they got to drive it around. They got to do those experiments. And the one where they're going to drill into the rock and drop it into those containers, the plan is, Matt, they're going to go and pick up those containers on a future mission. That mission hasn't even been scheduled. They want to try and do two more rover missions after the one next July. So hopefully someday they can recover those samples. That's the plan, Matt. Yeah. I like that line, there's no AAA on Mars. That really puts things in perspective for these no. folks. Eric Von Aiken, thank you so much. Appreciate it.